Word 2013 and 2016. Lists, columns, and table of contents. Introduction. If you already viewed the requirements to make a Word document accessible module, you learned that properly formatted lists and columns are both accessibility requirements. In this module, we describe how to use the tools included in Word 2013 and 2016 to make lists and columns readable by everyone. There are added benefits to using these tools to make your work accessible. It is easier to do and easier to make changes. A feature of Word that enhances accessibility is the automated Table of Contents tool that we will discuss later. Lists. There are several ways to create a list in Microsoft Word. One way is to use a list style. Available list styles can be found in the same styles pane as headings. You can apply the same style before or after you type the list. If you choose to type first, highlight the list when you are done and click on the style of your choice. Word provides styles for many types of lists. Paragraph, bulleted, numbered, lettered, list continue for when an item requires more than one paragraph. You can also start by selecting a style before typing. Whenever you want to add another list item, just press the Enter key, and when you're done, click on the next style you want to use. Quick way to format a list. Another option is to use the Bullets and Numbers tools, which can be found in the Lists group of the Productivity tab. These options are also found in the Paragraph group of the Ribbons Home tab. By clicking on the image above the drop-down menu, you can apply the last formatting used, but by clicking on the drop-down, you can choose a style from the most used or even define a new one. This option is handy when you want to use a specific image or a symbol as a bullet. To make a multi-level list, choose the format you want from the multi-level list command. To move items from one level to another in a multi-level list, to indent an item, press the tab key or click the demote command in the productivity tab. To move an item back to the left, hold the Shift key and press Tab or use the Promote command in the Productivity tab. Columns. In order to be accessible, columns must be created using the Columns tool, which is located in the middle of the Productivity tab in the Layout group. Once you've written the text, highlight it and select the number of columns. You can also adjust the width and spacing of each column individually by clicking on More Columns. Don't be tempted to create the appearance of columns by pressing the Tab key or spacebar. If you do, a screen reader will read each line from one margin of the page to the other, continuing right through the tabs or spaces that give the appearance of columns. When you use the Columns command, screen readers will read the document in the correct order starting on the left side of the page, read down the first column, then read the next column from top to bottom, and so on, just like reading a newspaper. You will find your work easier when you use the Columns command, too. You'll find that you can edit the text, readjusting the column widths, or make any other changes without wrecking the layout. Table of Contents Creating a table of contents is an easy way to enhance usability for everyone, including people with disabilities. When headings are organized in a table of contents, the reader can quickly review the information contained in the document. Like the document navigation map, a table of contents outlines structure and allows for quick navigation. From the Table of Contents, you can skip to a certain topic by pressing the Control key and clicking on the heading. If you decide to include a table of contents in your document, 1. Place the cursor where you want to insert the table. Press Enter to move the rest of the document down if needed. 2. Click on the Productivity tab, then in the Structure section, select the TOC option, then choose a format for the table. The Table of Contents option can also be found in the References tab of the Word ribbon. You can choose an automatic or manual table. If you use an automatic table and make edits to your document later, you can select Update TOC in the Productivity tab or the Update Table option in the References tab to include your changes.
If you wish to use a manual table, you must select Custom Table of Contents under TOC menu. You must add the title of each item and enter all updates and changes yourself. Conclusion Word 2013 and 2016 have tools that are easy to use, which can help you make lists, columns, and documents readable by everyone. This concludes our module on lists, columns, and table of contents.